Hello, everyone. My name is Antonio Padilla. Welcome to Immaculate. Today, we're going to be reviewing J.W. Anderson's Spring 24 collection that was just shown during London Fashion Week. With each passing season, Jonathan Anderson continues to prove Beautiful. that he is an absolute master at taking simple, generic clothes, but designing them in a unique way. And for this collection, he wanted to find the strangeness in the mundane. The show is being held at the Roundhouse in Camden, and the first look of the show starts off with one of the most captivating looks of this entire collection. It is a bluish gray hoodie with light gray Bermuda shorts, but they seem to be made out of clay. We later learn that these looks are made out of plastine, which is a putty-like molding material. This is how you start the show off with an absolute banger of an outfit. Next look, we see an oversized, beautiful blue blazer that is very stiff and looks to be made out of suede. We've seen stiff coats with the lack of movement before from Jonathan Anderson's Loewe collections. This is a gorgeous blue color paired with black pants. In the next few looks, we see a couple more of the clay molded outfits, this time in a tan colored hoodie with blue shorts and then in an orange colored hoodie with dark gray shorts. These clay molded outfits, I must admit, look incredible. As the show goes on, we're welcomed these transparent knitted dresses with front pockets in red and blue colors. However, following the knitted dresses, we observe what looks to be a leather jacket with a hood from afar, but it is in actuality a pullover hoodie with all of the details of a biker leather jacket. It is fascinating how Jonathan Anderson will make you look twice before realizing what you are actually seeing. The puffy garbage bag outfits were incredibly eye-catching. They came in a variety of colors and even had the bag tied around the neck to give the impression that the person was wearing a shiny, bright garbage bag. I really enjoyed the color combinations used for these outfits and they really stood out in the collection. The wraparound dresses for this show looked so good. My favorite was the bright blue one. These dresses give the illusion that it is one solid piece of fabric that is wrapped around the entire body. These bomber jackets were highly praised after the show. They are so large that they could be worn as dresses and they have these feathers popping out of the sleeves and the front zip area. The trench coats really caught my eye during the middle of the show. They were shown in camel and green colors. They had these nice layered details and a bungee tie around the waist. One of the more unique clothing items were these dresses that had a large round object, almost like a hula hoop, that pointed up inside the dress. Honestly, it made the dresses a bit unflattering and the silhouette of it awkward. Another look that caught my eye during the middle of the show was this brown zip up jacket with suede leather that was attached to the front and collar area of the jacket to create this cape-like structure and wide shoulders on the body. I really like the silhouette it created with the powerful shoulders on this jacket. Towards the end of the show, we had some of my favorite looks. I really liked the brown dress that had this diamond shaped cut where the sides of the dress near the hips flared out. This skirt with the brightly sequined woven pattern looked incredible. It was complemented with this soft, lightweight hoodie and it was easily one of my favorite pieces of the collection. Lastly, Jonathan Anderson, always making basic wear into something fun and desirable, wore these cool dress hoodies. They even included the kangaroo pouch in the front of the dress for your hands and belongings. The models came out for one final look before Jonathan Anderson, in his typical way, came out for a brief second to thank the crowd. All right, so that was a quick recap of the runway show. Now let's get into the top 10 looks. So the first one, look number three, these clay outfits were absolutely incredible. They're just so captivating. And this is the way that you start off a show. I love the colors for all of them, but this one in particular was my favorite. I love how Jonathan Anderson could just take really basic wear and create a very exciting, desirable, and something that's actually wearable as well. Um, it's just a hoodie with Bermuda shorts, but with the clay, it's just like so captivating. 
This is such a genius idea. I absolutely love it. Next, this blazer was absolutely beautiful. I love the color of it. I love the way it's combined with the green pants as well. Um, it looks to be made out of suede and it really doesn't have a lot of movement. This is something that we saw from Loewe collections that Jonathan Anderson has done in the past. And he just really loves to play with silhouettes, movement, perceptions. He's a master at that. I think the silhouette looks great. I love the color combination. This is a great outfit. And this one is special because from afar, I thought it was just a regular leather jacket, but it turns out it's actually a hoodie that has all the leather jacket details of a biker jacket. And I think that's absolutely genius. Something I haven't seen before. I think this looks great. Um, it has it um, paired with these cargo pants as well that look to be more relaxed fitted. And I think that's just a great look. Just really genius how he could just take something, a hoodie and a biker leather jacket and combine them into one really cool piece. Definitely, definitely one of my favorites. The garbage bag outfits. So I really liked the color combinations that they used with all of these looks. Um, I love all the details. They even have the garbage bag tie around the neck. I love how they added puffiness um, to give it some volume around the top and bottom. I love the crop top. So I love the silhouette. I love the look of it. It gives it like a wet, almost like patent leather look. Um, I think this looks really cool. I love that Jonathan Anderson is never afraid to play with volume. And I think this outfit looks great. The wraparound dress. So this one was my favorite color. They also had it in white and green. And this is made to look like one piece of fabric that's wrapped around the entire body and tied near the bottom, as you can see. Um, I really like the way it hugs the body. I like how it has a little space um, for the abdomen to show. And um, yeah, this is just a great piece. This is one of my favorites of the collection. Just a, a beautiful dress all the way around. So this is one of the more um, calm, kind of mundane looks for the entire collection, but I just love a good trench coat. I love the details. I love the color of this one. I love how it has this type of bungee tie around the waist area. Just a beautiful piece. Um, it looks like there might be layers underneath it too. Um, maybe there's some like a built-in dress or a skirt underneath it as well, but yeah, just a, a beautiful piece altogether. I really like this jacket a lot. This is a very unique piece because it has this suede cape-like feature attached towards the top and collar and it kind of drapes around the back area, but it also gives some very powerful shoulders, um, almost like wings at the, the top. Um, and I really like that the way that creates like a silhouette that tapers all the way down. So I'm a huge fan of the silhouette, beautiful color. I love the way it's paired with these navy blue shorts as well. Just an overall good look. First off, this is in a beautiful brown color, but what really caught my eye was the way that this dress is cut. It's cut in a very unique silhouette that's in almost in like a diamond shape that's um, cut from the waist wide, but very narrow at the bottom. So I love the way Jonathan Anderson uh, continues to play with volumes and silhouettes, makes it wide around the waist, and then tapers all the way down to the bottom. The top almost gives me some uh, like corset vibes um, in some type of way. Um, beautiful dress overall, looks roomy, looks comfortable, looks uh, very airy for the summer. Um, just an overall beautiful piece. This is one of the more unique looks of the entire show. This skirt in particular is a sequined woven pattern skirt. Um, it's like asymmetrical, just kind of put together and you still have some um, leather like kind of hanging off the dress, taken off of the skirt. Um, it's just very eye catching. Uh, definitely a stunning piece and it's paired with this very relaxed very light very airy hoodie on the top um, so it's just kind of like a juxtaposition of like this very stiff very hard bottom but then the top is just very soft and very airy very comfortable so um, just an overall like very cool look with the contrast um, but that skirt is very eye-catching very stunning piece um, something that was like one of the more standout pieces of the show and lastly, again, Jonathan Anderson taking just very basic wear and making it into something completely unique. He just took a hoodie and made it into a dress in a very cool way. He even included the kangaroo pouch for your hands, for your belongings. Um, this is actually a hoodie that they have made before 
Um, you could tell with the really thick white strings that Jonathan Anderson has done, um, I believe for men's and women's wear in the past, but he just made it very long into a dress. Um, he did it in a cool, couple of cool different colors, um, but this color was my favorite in particular. Um, just a really cool, unique um, point of view to make a hoodie a dress. All right, so final thoughts. Um, I absolutely loved it. I thought the show was great. It was easily one of my favorite J.W. Anderson collections in recent time. Jonathan Anderson is no, in no doubt one of the best designers. And for him to continue to be creative and not only lead his own brand, J.W. Anderson, but be the creative lead for Loewe as well, is nothing short of extraordinary. He's a master at creating things and creating these designs that are fun, strange, and exciting but they're also wearable, which is like so unique in this industry. Um, he continues to play with perceptions, with silhouettes, with volumes in this very unique manner. And this is another collection that shows why he continues to be highly anticipated anytime one of his collection shows. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.